everyone. Alex again from AutoX. And I'm here to show you another cool camper. You've probably seen some similar stuff on my channel before, um, but I guarantee you have not seen this one yet. This is a Toyota Camroad built on the Toyota Dyna chassis. So that's a medium duty truck chassis um, made for many decades, still made by Toyota. And the camper is made by Vantech. It's the Zill model. So we have a full fiberglass shell, as you can see, built kind of like a boat. A very interesting build, the way they made these. There's not many seams. What seams there are, they're hidden. If you guys can spot them, let me know. Um, but the way these are assembled is pretty unique. Uh, just giving you a quick walk around on the outside here. Rear cargo slash bike rack. This thing holds about 100 pounds. It folds down um, to stick out right over your rear bumper. Ladder, rear backup camera. You see the Vantech badging up there at the top. And looking down the side. So in here, Use your bathroom access, outdoor access. So you can reach your shower and all that stuff right here from outside. And this is where you pull out your cassette porta potty, which you just push this down, pull out the cartridge, and then dump it. And then also for your filling of your fresh water end here, just pull this out and fill it right here. Here's your water level indicator as well. Love these Thetfords, they're super easy to maintain um, and you can dump them anywhere on like a black tank. That is your vent for your hot water heater, your back end access to that. Fresh water fill right here. Looking down, so the six lug axle, it's a one and a half ton chassis. This is a storage compartment also used to fill your fuel. Your fuel fill is inside there. It's pretty cool. I'll try to get those opened up and cut to those so you guys can check that out. Um, got some period correct decals down the side. Kind of a blue, gold, and white color tone scheme going on. This one is four wheel drive with the badge to remind you. And right down here, We've got the ASIN manual locking hubs, which you just twist from free to lock. And then inside there's a push button, a uh, four wheel drive push button. Big light truck mirrors on the front here. Really sweet visibility. Let's take a look in. So a much more modern interior here. We've got uh, super clean door cards, power windows, power locks right there and some nice front captain's chairs let's hop in here I'll give you a closer look big old grab bar up there right here is a sat nav and uh, DVD slash CD player system all Japanese OEM stuff. Cut into the console here. Um, all your controls, it has AC heat, all that fun stuff. And then a premium sound system there. This is your backup camera. Pretty sweet old school LCD, sorry, not LCD, CRT. Um, and there's your passenger seat and Looking there, there's your glove box, some floor mats, your shift lever, L2 drive, neutral reverse, and park, overdrive on and off button. Pretty standard Toyota stuff. There's your four wheel drive button there. A 
if you push it, you can uh, engage and disengage. Looking at the cluster, there's only 41,000 kilometers. Very low. That's something like 25,000 original miles. This thing was very, very lightly used in Japan. Your height reminder, 2.9 meters. So that's what, about nine, nine and a half feet, somewhere around there. So we'll step out, just give you a look around here. You're probably wondering the dimensions on this thing. It's only about 16.5 feet long, about seven feet wide, and yeah, just under 10 feet tall. Just spectacularly built, very efficient use of space. In case you guys are wondering, propane lives in here. There are two tanks, kind of uh, the Japanese setup. Um, and down there is another storage compartment for kind of basement storage access. So, the moment you've all been waiting for, the interior. Let's step in. Starting with the door. You've got a screen door. Which is nice for all that fresh air when you're out in the woods. Minus the bugs. Your front step in is quite recessed, Japanese style. So you're intended to step in here. Right here is a shoe closet. Top shelf being the longest for you ladies with heels, put them right up there. There's more storage here. Right away, you're probably noticing the very nice fit and finish of this interior build, and it's really something spectacular. It's almost marine quality. You've got these really nicely finished curved line countertops. It's all very heavy duty, these wonderfully closing latches, which close and open from this button here and lock quite well. To my left is a microwave. You'd really only want to run that when you're on shore power. Speaking of power, let's turn that on. Here's your main breaker switch. So as you can see, everything just went live. So right above me is your hood. Vent fan range high low all right so here is your two burner stove top and your sink which has two faucets one draws from your quick fresh water access tank and one is your hot cold from your bigger freshwater tank. Your quick tank, well, looking in here, there's some more storage. Let me try to get some more light on in here. Cool, so back to the sink. Fresh water storage number one is right in here. You can just really easily just grab that, pull it out, fill it up. And that is your main, really your drinking water faucet. Right below me is a fridge with cooling assist function. You kind of want to run that when you're driving. Um, because that kind of just keeps the fridge cool and it draws a little bit more power. Better to use when you're driving. Fridge lock. Inside your fridge. This is your freezer here. And uh, 
all the other fun inner workings of your standard Electrolux, AKA Dometic fridge. It's pretty sweet. Three-way propane AC DC. Right to my left here is the bathroom. And there it is in all of its glory. Little window there, roof vent there. And you've got your shower tray, floor pan, Thetford cassette toilet, and your sink, which comes down like this. And that's works magically. And a little vanity in here, which is excellent. All right, so that's how that all works. Oh, your shower head and your light are up there. Let's close that out. Down here is your heater and all of your controls for your systems. And this was made by Remo, so parts are available readily on Remo's online site. They make stuff for Japanese campers as well as European campers. Looking ahead, we've got your dinette. Right here is a little island storage. More storage in here. Some water. And uh, yeah, so your counter countertop there for your island. We've got some great overhead storage as well and some recessed lights in there. So, there's that, there's that. Pretty self-explanatory. Right along here is a little storage shelf as well. So up top, another vent. It's a rain vented fan, so you can run it in rain or shine and it won't pull in any water. These windows are, again, really sweet. Three window system. You've got your blackouts, which lock in multiple positions. Then you also have your screen. Let's see if I can remember which position. There we go. Which locks and goes up. And then these windows also open out pretty easily like that and it locks in a few different positions very handy this is double pane acrylic so double insulated very thoughtful very smart um, again yeah we've got some more storage up here on the driver's side And then of course up here, big storage, some window coverings there. All in all, very nice kit guys. This is really one of the top of the line coach manufacturers in Japan. These seats all convert into one huge bed where I'm standing. This whole surface from wall to wall becomes a bed. This seat right here can be flipped to face frontward and there are seat belts all around here. So if you've got kids or a dog or whatever, you can flip this to have it forward so they're just right behind you when you're driving, which is pretty sweet. Here's a little extra table to do whatever you need to do on a little table there. This bed is pretty awesome. It slides out like this. And these just fold right in like that. And there's a little ladder there, which will latch onto this area to help you just get a leg up into the, to the bed. But again, the bed can uh, push forward even more. You can just pop these things totally out up there like this. 
and then look at that you got really nice access into your cab which is divided by this little engine hump here and yeah of course you've got some curtains which very nicely will will go up and uh, assuming we do it the right way these will go right across here and they just snap right into these snap rings blacks out your cab from your cabin quite nicely so this window is the same except it's actually a slider so you just grab it slide it open like so and those top windows at the bed work the same way where they push up and lock into a few different positions same as this back one here too it's pretty excellent uh, the ceiling is covered in this ozite fabric um, really nice stuff bigfoots use them on their on their ceilings northern lights it's kind of a high-end coach builders uh, material of choice really the floor is a very nice heavy duty vinyl flooring uh, with a very nice grain pattern to it let me show you guys this really cool storage compartment here so this is extra storage let me try to get this up If I can do it with one hand, and I believe I might be able to. So, if you pull this up, there is storage there. It's a fiberglass storage container, kind of built into the floor, into the basement for extra stuff. It's quite nice. And that table works wonderfully. It's on a slider, so you can just kind of scoot it whichever direction you like. These seats are really comfy. Um, this back rest can be put into several different angles as well as that one. And then underneath this couch lives your coach battery and your water tank is under here and all of your electrical stuff is run and plumbed under this bench so it's really easy to access essentially you just pull this up and then you it's under that piece of wood there just comes right up no unscrewing needed um so yeah that's pretty much the inside of this coach guys very very nice build by vantech and hopefully we'll be seeing more of these over in the states because they're all getting of the age when they can come in. Feel free to reach out to us if you if you like what you see and you're trying to get one. We've worked on a few of them and I personally love them. They're just so cool. I love doing walkthrough videos on them as well. Let's start it up. So there it goes. That's the parking brake light. Better have that on a minute. Bit of an incline. Here is your backup camera, your radio, and you probably heard the Japanese toll card talking. So this has a tilt function. 
very minimal tilt. And then you can also just turn it right off or on. And it's just always on. Pretty great. All right. You guys, so thank you for watching again. Checking out another cool camper. Feel free to subscribe or like if you're into it. And we always have more of these rigs for you guys to check out.